Uh, so uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Hyun Jung Choi. I'm a postdoc from uh, I-10 Laboratory uh, that is led by Professor Hyo Sin Kim at University of California Riverside. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to talk about priority-driven chain-aware scheduling for ROS2. Uh, as Michael introduced at the beginning, our work is a new executor and has been published in RTAS conference in CPS with this year, uh, which is a real-time conference with focusing on embedded real-time and time-sensitive system. Uh, so here is the outline. Uh, I start with motivation of our work. Uh, then introduce our new scheduling framework briefly. Uh, we called it PCAS. And then I will spend time on the integration of PCAS into reference system and show some uh, measurement results. So uh, before introducing our new scheduler, uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, default ROS to execute scheduling as a background. Uh, the left figure here uh, describes ROS to architecture. And as mentioned in previous sessions, uh, ROS2 has a scheduling related uh, entities such as callbacks and laws and executor across several abstraction layers. Then the question is the how to schedule callbacks in an executor. Basically, uh, executor interacts with communication layer and it fetches already callbacks onto its uh, queue whenever the queue is empty. Uh, once the queue has a callback, executor follows its own scheduling algorithm. And this uh, right figure describes the uh, callback scheduling algorithm within an executor. And when the uh, ready queue is not empty, scheduler select a callback based on the order of the callback types. As we can see here, uh, the scheduler selects, uh, uh, as we can see here, uh, the scheduler uh, always first uh, check the existence of timer callback and then it checked uh, subscription and service and client callbacks in order. And this iteration will go on until the queue will be empty. So uh, the callback scheduling within Executor result a uh, unique uh, scheduling behavior. And this raises some problems. First, a ROS2 scheduler suffer from a priority inversion because a timer callback is always scheduled first. And this also makes the callback priority uh, ineffective so the overall uh, callback scheduling in ROS2 is like a fairness-based scheduling, which means that it cannot prioritize safety critical chain when multiple chain exists in the system. And it also makes the analysis problem complex and hard, and the analysis result is even pessimistic. In addition to that, currently, a ROS2 default has no systematic resource allocation policy and does not define any uh, property on a chain. So this motivates us to design a new real-time scheduler for ROS2. So we propose a new real-time scheduling and analysis framework here. Uh, the key idea is that our approach uh, prioritizes mission critical chains across complex abstraction layers of ROS2. By doing so, our PCAS can minimize the end-to-end -end latency of critical chains and also ensures predictability even when the system is overloaded. PCAS framework consists of uh, its own executor and resource uh, allocation algorithm and also the timing analysis tool. Uh, within PCAS executor, uh, ex uh, callbacks are scheduled based on their priorities uh, with non-preemptive manner. And the priority of callback and executors are determined by PCAS resource allocation algorithm. And timing analysis uh, tool uh, captures the upper bound of end to end latency of chain. Uh, PCAS is uh, redesigned from uh, ROS to default scheduling to resolve the problem I mentioned earlier. And basically, it has two goals. First, uh, critical chain execute first to avoid fairness based scheduling. Second, uh, if we consider a single chain, a chain instance should be scheduled in their arrival order to prevent self-interference. In order to achieve these goals, uh, we proposed uh, six callback scheduling strategy within and across executors. And these strategies are realized by PCAS callback priority assignment scheme and the chain of node allocation algorithm. And also PCAS framework equipped with the end-to-end -end latency analysis, uh, analysis tool. 
Uh, I'm not going to explain all the detail of each component today. So if you are interested in these algorithm, please check out our published paper here. Uh, so instead of the algorithm, uh, I would more focus on the implementation of PCAS today. Uh, basically, PCAS is implemented as an extension to RCLCPP Wasted Executor. To realize the PCAS algorithm, uh, we need uh, two main features for PCAS Executor. Uh, first, uh, we should assign priority to callback and also need to assign executor's priority and its CPU number. Second, we need to change the callback scheduling algorithm. So in order to do that, we implement the APIs for PCAS executor. First, uh, all type of callback can have a property uh, called the callback uh, priority in their classes. Executor itself also uh, has uh, three default parameters such as uh, callback priority enable, which is set by using uh, enable and disable callback priority API. And it actually determines whether to use PCAS executor when it is true or loss to default executor for false. Uh, executor priority and executor CPU parameters are set by using set executor uh, priority CPU uh, API function. And callback priority uh, can be assigned by using set callback priority functions for all different type of callbacks. Then similar as loss spin, we uh, develop so-called spin RT to run executor with a real-time priority on a designated CPU. And this is uh, the API, what Larp mentioned in the previous session. So in terms of the callback scheduling in Picasa uh, executor, uh, there are two main differences compared to ROST default scheduling. First, uh, Picasa executor select the highest priority callback among all arrived callback no matter which types they are. This can be done in the uh, get next ready executable function. Uh, in this function, uh, we first get the highest callback, highest priority callback from each type of callback. Then compare to other type uh, of callback to get the uh, highest priority callback. So at the end, there is only one callback which has the highest priority callback and which has the highest priority. And that will be scheduled for the next. The second difference in PCAS, uh, executor fetches the callbacks whenever a single callback completes its execution. So uh, we slightly modified uh, get next the executable function uh, to, do, uh, to do it uh, as shown in, the, in this lab. Uh, so with these two features, uh, callback can be uh, scheduled based on their priorities in PCAS executor. Uh, the process of this is implementation is that well, we can minimize the waiting time of high priority callback. However, this scheduling uh, may not good for high throughput of short same priority callbacks by raising overhead because it fetches uh, whenever a callback completes its, ex its execution. So for the last of talk, uh, I will talk about the PCAS on reference system. Uh, we forked a uh, reference system and managed uh, PCAS on reference system in our lab repository. So please clone our forked repository from uh, this following link. And to use PCAS executor, there are two things uh, that are needed to be done. Uh, first, when you build a reference system, uh, use PCAS CMake variable as a true. Second, uh, since PCAS uses real-time scheduling policy like SCAD 54 in the Linux, uh, change the following configuration uh, to use the Linux RT priority, then reboot your system first. Basically, PCAS is implemented in RCLCPP package as an extension and located in reference system RCLCPP uh, folder. So this uh, overrides the ROS to default RCLCPP package. However, I note that uh, without setting dpcas as a true, uh, it is exactly the same as ROS2 Galactic version. So how to use uh, PCAS executor? Uh, this is an example code to use PCAS executor uh, on reference system. Uh, the executor is uh, declared same as ROS2 default. Uh, then if you want to use PCAS scheduler, uh, use the API function to set a callback priority enable as a true. Then assign real-time priority and CPU 
uh, number to executor by using APIs. Uh, after that, allocate nodes to uh, the executor. Uh, in the reference system, all nodes are already generated by creating autoware nodes function. So we just put uh, nodes to a single executor in this example. Uh, then lastly, uh, PCAS executor should be run with uh, spin RT. Uh, if you want to use the uh, multiple executor, uh, instead of using uh, executor.spinRT, uh, please use the following line uh, because we need to create multiple threads and need to bind them into individual executor. Then uh, how to assign the callback priority on reference system. On reference system, uh, callback priorities are defined as constant in default uh, HPP file under uh, system priority folder. These constants are used uh, to model autoware system in uh, this builder file, uh, which is the same way as the timing parameters are used. Then in node definition file, the actual callbacks can get their priority numbers. I think in your own application, you may uh, need to create your own node type and callback function. So in that case, uh, you need to assign callback priority manually. Uh, I think the easiest way to assign priority to callback in the main code is using uh, set uh, callback priority API. So in the main code, you can just assign it like the executor dot same callback priority. The first argument is the pointer of callback. The second one is the priority number. And if you want to use the, this API, please make sure the callback function in the node should be declared as uh, public for accessing purpose. So now the evaluation, we evaluate the autoware system with PCAS framework and compare it to ROST default. And this is the autoware system model and it consists of uh, many nodes and each node has one or multiple callbacks. And this model has a uh, many chain configurations, but for the simplicity, we assume that this model consists of three chains. Uh, the most critical chain is colored with the red, uh, red uh, which is a perception pipeline, including planner and control command. And this chain also include a hot topic path, and uh, that is the one of the KPIs on reference system. Here, all numbers are uh, priorities of callback and more critical callback have the higher number. Uh, for priority assignment, we use the PCAS framework and also applied uh, node to executor allocation algorithm for multiple, uh, multiple executor for PCAS setup. And these algorithms are implemented and opened in our lab repository. So please uh, visit this link if you are interested in. Uh, we run the evaluation on Raspberry Pi 4 with fixed uh, CPU frequency of 1.5 gigahertz. And we also use the four CPU cores for multiple executor uh, for PCAS and multi-threaded executor for ROS to default. And we run the call contest with uh, 60 seconds of runtime and measure the metric uh, based on the key performance indicator of the reference system. So this, is, uh, this slide shows the measurement of latency for hot topic path, uh, which is uh, from front uh, rear LiDAR driver to object collision estimator. So if you compare our PCAS single executor to ROS to default executor, uh, default single threaded executor, uh, as we can see the mean and max numbers in this table uh, PCAS single executor uh, significantly outperforms the ROS to default single thread. Uh, this is because on the PCAS, chains can be prioritized based on its criticality. So the most critical chains run first than the others. In comparison between uh, PCAS multiple executors and ROS to multi thread, PCAS also has a slightly uh, better latency performance. Uh, this is the summary of dropped message. Uh, even if we have observed that there exists uh, one dropped message for ROS2 default single threaded and PICA single executor case, overall the performance is pretty good for all executor setup. And I think this is because the utilization of worker set uh, does not over the given the resource. 
The next measurement is behavior uh, planar jitter. Uh, for the jitter metric, the lower jitter and drift are the better. So basically, uh, behavior uh, planar operate 100 millisecond period as a default. So the lower standard deviation from 100 millisecond will be the best performance. And as we can see in this table, uh, both PICAS and uh, PICAS single and multiple executor have pretty accurate period result one with very low standard deviation compared to ROS to default executors. This is because prioritizing callback give uh, a constant execution of callback, so give us a pretty accurate result. So lastly, this slide shows the result of CPU and memory uses. Uh, well, as you can see, the for CPU and memory uses, overall, there's no big difference between uh, ROS to default and PCAS executor. So uh, as a, a short recap from these uh, measurement results, uh, PCAS executor can have better performance in terms of latency and dropped messages and jitters uh, with similar resource uses. So uh, this is pretty much, pretty, uh, pretty much of uh, my presentation. Yeah, I'm happy to get a question. Thanks a lot. And we have some questions. For the first one, how should a user assign the priorities to the callbacks? Are there any rules of thumb or like a shorter task gets a higher priority? Uh, uh, actually, it, uh, there's, uh, we, we proposed a priority assignment scheme. So basically uh, that assignment scheme is uh, try to satisfy our the, uh, callback scheduling uh, strategy. So uh, we proposed the priority assignment scheme. So if you are interested in how to assign the callback priority, maybe you can uh, visit our paper and see the algorithm. Yeah. All right, thanks. And another question, uh, do these priorities have to be unique or can, can I have callbacks with the same priority? That is a good question. Yes, exactly right. So we need a uh, required to uh, assign a unique priority for all the callbacks. Okay. And another question, um, would it be possible to, to also have a, a pipelining for, for a chain? Or can, you, can a, one chain only be executed at a time? Uh, based on our the, uh, the allocation uh, algorithm, uh, it is not always allocated on one chain to one executor. It depends on the utilization of CPU and some other parameters like the, the when we allocate the node to executor, actually it should satisfy the scheduling strategy. So all everything are checked in the allocation algorithm then assigned. Uh, 